Hi guys, this is Lutin, and I wanted to talk really quickly just about the AC130. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this, it's OP, it's underpowered, it's too weak or whatever, it's, it's ruined rush, it's no good on conquest, and so on and so on. Okay, there is so many people whinging about this, and in my opinion, I really think that it is totally fine in both aspects, and I think people just need to get over it, okay? Um, I've posted some gameplay here, um, it's nothing new, it's been on my other stuff, the reason being is I spent most of the day editing, I'm sure you guys have all had fun playing, but I've been creating my review. If you haven't seen my review, I've just posted it recently, so go check that out. But now, talking about the AC, now coming up in a second, we've got a full section from when I spawn to when it gets destroyed, and I'm going to just talk about, you know, the AC-130, how weak it is, how strong it is. Now the AC basically, it's extremely powerful in terms of what it can put down onto the ground. And you see, we start in, now we're coming in from the spawn, and f immediately I can start laying down heavy, heavy fire, and starting to, we're obviously attacking on rush. Also, look at how the uh, defenders are really nicely spread out here. You see they've got a good range of spread, so they're kind of well organized around the map. Very few people are A though. But anyway, anyway, getting too tactical as I always do. <laughs> um, talking about the power of the AC-130, you can put a huge amount of fire down onto the ground, but you're extremely vulnerable. You can be taken down by the jets, you see the A-10 flying underneath me there, Iglers can shoot you down extremely quickly, and a combination of Iglers, even tank guns can take down the AC-130. If you get on the heavy machine gunner position on a main battle tank, you can really do damage to the AC-130. The AC-130 fires it flies very, very slowly. It, it can only sort of, you know, it continues. You see how slow we're moving around right now. And, you know, it's not hard to hit it with a heavy mounted machine gun from the ground. So you can do damage to it in multiple ways. That's obviously why some people are complaining that it's too weak and so on and so on. But as I said in my videos, you know, it's, it's a trade-off. If you allow it to stay in the air, it's going to do tons of damage. That's its thing, you know. If you're really proactive and you get on it, then, you know, you're going to be able to take it down extremely quickly. But it's a trade-off because because, you know, the time you have to deal with it is the time that you're not looking at something else on the ground, which is just like anything else. If you have a Amtrak pulled up in the base or a tank pulled in the base and you don't deal with it, it's going to cause you a major problem. The, you know, the same with the jet, the same with the helicopter. Anything that you don't immediately address as an issue, it's going to be a big problem for you. And the AC-130 is, is no exception of that. It's going to be a problem if you don't deal with it. But on the other hand, if you're against a team which doesn't look at you, you're going to be able to do tons of damage. So as far as I'm concerned, it's perfectly balanced and it respawns quickly enough that even if a team is proactively dealing with you, you can still deal plenty of damage on the ground. So in my opinion, it's, it's totally balanced. It works absolutely fine, and I think there's other issues like the amount of uh, vehicles and so on in Armoured Shield, which is much more of a significant problem than really the AC-130. And you can see, look, just from taking a couple of stingers, we're pretty damaged down to 40%, and then we get some final rounds coming in on us here. Even though I find the targets and I start firing down onto them, get taken down to 20%, and you see this guy is really proactive now. He's desperately trying to take us out, and there we go, we're down. And I really think that there isn't a problem with it. So, you know, get over it. Stop crying about everything.